So you may notice that this week is a little different from usual. Um, I am not Andrew. Well, I'm Andrew, but I'm not the usual Andrew. Uh, this is Andrew Kolb <laughs> steering the ship uh, of the latest episode of the M of One podcast. Uh, we are now 100 episodes in, and we figured we'd mix it up a little bit. So this week, we're going to flip the script. Uh, I am going to help with the... Uh, aid of Jared. Uh, we're on this episode and interview your classic hosts. Uh, so I've done enough talking. Jared, why don't you take it away? Uh, so this is very exciting because I think we have been on this show quite a bit. I think you more than me uh, because of comics with uh, what, what is it called? What's the section called? The Calculated Comics with Colt. Calculated Comics nice. with Colt. So it's kind of fun to uh, steer this ship uh, for for the first time ever, I, I think this is probably the first time ever that this has happened on this show, and it's a mess in here. Let me just say, you guys, this, this <laughs> yeah. podcast room. There's toys. There's Are games. Are you saying you found it as a mess? <laughs> like yes. you just stepped in here, and it is a disaster. We opened the door and said, "What are you even doing?" Kind of, <laughs> the smell is. There's massive. beard About clippings. Time. There's yeah. food. It's it's crazy, but it's exciting to be here for this very uh, special occasion. Is it yeah, kind of like when the parents come in, like after they've, they've been gone for a long weekend and the kids have been at home the whole weekend and there's just yes. empty pizza boxes and crust laying all over the floor? Yeah, it's like a dorm room or something. Yeah. Yeah. Although maybe this is like an indie movie where it's the teens, like we're not the ones really who run the ship, but the teens who are more responsible. So right. we're coming home to our parents who uh, are like, what are you, what uh, are you like doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom's so, had one too many Pinos. <laughs> that's fine. Um, wow. Wow. Patrick so, um, is the mom and it also is Pino. Just so yeah. we're on the same page. Yeah, 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 actually. <laughs> okay. My, my, like Jared, me, and our three dads. Uh, so, <laughs> again, what we wanted to do this episode uh, is kind of turn things around. I think I've obviously been a longtime fan, um, I guess also guest, but uh, listener of the show. Um, and because 100 episodes of this kind of new season is upon us, I wanted to take it in a, a direction that we get to kind of shine the light on the three uh, like true captains of this ship. Um, so we're flipping around and I want to ask you guys a couple of questions. Uh, maybe kind of treat this more like an interview episode than an around the table. Um, but I guess before we do that, I, I don't want to kind of completely take control away from you. Uh, so if you'd like, why don't we go around and kind of talk about something that's happened this week. I know Thanksgiving was last week, so I'm sure lots has happened. Um, I mean, Luke, do you want to take it away yeah. and give us something? No, that that's was cool. a, a um, highlight perfect. All right. So I want to add a little, I'm going to clarify the rule. Let's do one each. Let's, mm. so Ooh. Um, so I'm going to say it. my one thing uh, last <laughs> week. So, one. you know, besides Thanksgiving and Day after Thanksgiving turkey sandwiches, uh, so good. Um, <laughs> the uh, the one thing biscuits and jelly. Mm, Thanksgiving. What, get out of here. Um, <laughs> you said Friday. it, not me. So, I, don't... I know, I know, I know, I know. So Black Friday is is the day uh, that all the businesses have huge sales. It's the day they go back into the black. You know, that's where they make all their money for the year, right? Hold on, is that where that comes from? Yeah, that's the terminology. Yeah. You just that, blew his mind. Well, this we is why we have this podcast. You, you just, we just all witnessed Andrew Kolb's like, brain explode inside I'm of sorry, his own head. I'm sorry, did everyone else know this? Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's America. Welcome, it's hey, welcome Canada. to America. <laughs> Listen, Canada stays in the black all year yeah. long. You can really like learn that, that in second grade. In America, yeah, exactly. you live in crippling debt the you 99% must, of the year. You okay. must have a very dark uh, concept of what Black Friday meant. Then. I, don't know. I just exactly. assumed it was the shadow from all of your parade float. Uh, like, that's what it was. Uh, We're all thankful, okay, but then we also take one day. To think about all the really bad stuff going on. Yeah, I mean, totally it's fair, really but this depressing. is still amazing. I am <laughs> overwhelmed with joy, not just at hosting this episode, but at learning the origins of Black Friday. Luke, sorry, continue. You're welcome. No, it's good. Um, <laughs> so uh, the one thing, so like we got uh, stuff for the kids. Uh, my wife goes on, does that shopping. I don't because crowds suck. But um, I went out and I got a couple games for the boys, they don't listen, so they won't know. Um, but I also picked up a game for me, and I got Assassin's Creed Origins, which is like the latest Assassin's Creed that takes place in a um, Egyptian kind of setting. Mm. And it's really awesome. It's super fun. Um, 
it's the same as all the other Assassin's Creed. It's just a new skin, if you will. Um, but uh, yeah. they yeah. should do Assassin's Creed new skin. Ugh. That should be the next version. Ugh, I don't like that idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, like, you're finding feathers and you're killing groups of baddies. Yes. That what? happened in there was an Assassin's Creed where you absolutely went around and you got, found feathers. You collected oh yeah, feathers, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. sorry, I thought you were talking about the new skin one. I'm like, that's kind yeah, of the that's same a- as the game. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, as far as I, I'm aware, <laughs> no, that yeah, exists. It's, it's different trinkets. Uh, it's yeah. not feathers because it's Egyptian, so you're it's like little figurines. Um, yeah, it's like little tourist. Uh, pyramids. Yeah, and, and you don't have chains. the one thing. And I don't know if I'm not far enough in the game. Maybe you don't have the hidden blade yet, so that's kind of weird. Like you don't have that. Well, it's which because is like, it has that mechanism hasn't been invented yet. So is <laughs> right. it just the exposed blade, and you're just yeah, you just a sword? have a sword. You have a sword and a shield, and then you have a bow oh. and arrow. And then I actually thought about that when I saw it, uh, at GameStop. I thought, I wonder how they're gonna do the like the the pop out blade because I don't know that that yeah. technology was available. Right, and that makes sense for it to not be in there. Right. But wait, 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 wait. but isn't this a futuristic person that is in some simulator that is being put back into the past? Yes, but but you're still utilizing the the stuff that's Well, yeah, as as the evolution evolution of the Assassin's Creed games have come out, so what we're finding is you are using memories of that person in the past, and you're kind of playing through their memories and not necessarily actually going. It's not time travel. It's actually just tapping into memories and playing through those memories to find out where the apple of Eden is. You know, that's the the main thing. Nobody ever actually dies. Like, they're not actually killing people. They're just just living desynchronizing. That's why it says desynchronizing when you die in the game is you're you're cutting off from the memory. So does it touch on free will and the fact that you're really just kind of playing through something that is like anything, any mistakes you make are the mistakes they already made and therefore... It doesn't get that meta into it. Whoa. (laughs) Um, but okay. there are no, that's but, a really but black at Friday. the same time at the same time there are huge discussion threads on either Ubisoft's forums or Reddit of that idea of like what's really happening. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, so if you want to go down that rabbit hole, good luck. Uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna play in the game. <laughs> totally <laughs> too, little too, many that's too much. Um, but it's really good. It's I mean, okay. it, this is already longer than I wanted to talk about it. It's really fun. Yeah. If you like Assassin's Creed, you'll like it. I liked it because Egyptian is like one of my favorite kind of like um, themes, you if you will. Cool. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. I'm going to throw maybe, it. That's why he has, that's struck why, me. Never mind. That's why he has the beard of Imhotep. <laughs> yeah. Obviously. It makes sense now. Uh, um, I'm going to throw okay, it to Patrick. Yeah. Patrick is Perfect. also talking. So go ahead. Yeah, I'll do it. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I bought some stuff. We'll talk about it when it comes in. I've got nothing to show you today. I'm on location, meaning I'm not at, at in my normal podcast space. I'm in uh, a child's room. Um, I'm sitting uh, on child-sized furniture in the corner. Oh, you're going to break it. Oh, I want to um, see that. That should be a picture. It's, like, I'm I'm sweating profusely because I'm just afraid any second what I'm sitting on is going to, like, break. Andrew, and so you I have need to, to text McKenzie and tell her to take a picture. That way I can <laughs> spring up if something starts to happen. So, uh, I so really just, hope it does. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> 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 Everything just, just goes disappear. crashing down. I would only fall that far. Like, that's the Let thing. Let me ask like, you I one thing. Can I ask you one thing? Did you make yeah. sure? before you recorded that you turned off the baby monitor? Oh. I, well, I, I, I don't know if it's a baby monitor and white noise machine, but there was this thing running over here and I did flip it off. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I think he, just gave, it, he just gave it the be finger though. He didn't you. actually yeah. turn it off. I He's just, just like, it ah, off. stop making noise, you effer. <laughs> Yeah, and, and that's that fine. was into the it was into the baby monitor, and they did talk to him about it. Yeah, yeah. you should pull back at some point so we could see the because you make regular <laughs> furniture look like children's furniture, so I can't imagine yeah. that what this looks like. Yeah, exactly. I, Im- I imagine you can only see three inches of the actual chair legs; the rest is consumed by his body. <laughs> when I stand up, it's going to come with me. And for whatever <laughs> reason, <laughs> the back of your shirt is over the back of the chair, so it's just yeah. your legs. It's bad. So anyway, I will talk about one thing, though, that is coming up. This isn't happening till January 1st, but I'm very excited. And that's that Will Ferrell and Molly Shannon will be playing um, fake newscasters, Cord Hosenbeck and Tish Cadigan, and they will be covering the Rose Parade for Amazon. Oh, cool. nice. Wow. And I am very excited about it. So they will just be cheesy broadcasters. You can find Court Hosenbeck's website right now. It's basically a giant Wix advertisement, but it's all very well done. Cool video, all that kind of stuff. But you can kind of get an idea. Wait, why do you of, say it's just a giant Wix advertisement? 
Because it's a Wix ad. They use Wix. Because they talk they about Wix. Wix. It? Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, it's an advertisement. In the, in the video, they talk about it? Yeah, in the video, gotcha. he's like dragging and dropping stuff. And like, it's a Wix okay. advertisement. I don't know if, it, like, so I'm not really sure where the, the play is. If like Wix and Amazon are doing it or Wix is sponsoring it or how it's working. But it'll be on Amazon, not till January 1st. But um, yeah, we'll, we will get to hear from Court Hosenbeck and Tish, uh, Tish uh, Cat again. So pretty excited about that i i uh, i think that'll make i i don't know parades are one of those things i watch but i don't ever enjoy but in but yet i spend time watching i watched the macy's parade wasn't enjoyable but i sat there and watched it for an hour so i don't know what it is so maybe that maybe this will make it a bit better that's okay. it for me no that's great <laughs> yes, that Andrew, you want to uh, take it away uh, I love it because even on our regular show, we still are responsible for throwing it to the next person. But Patrick is just like, no, nope, I'm not doing anything <laughs> not doing unless someone anything. tells I'm me out. to do it on this show. <laughs> I appreciate that. He's putting his proverbial feet up on the table and just kind of reclining and just. Well, can you do that? Which is my feet are on the other side of the camera right now. That's what you can't see. Uh, okay, so my my one thing is going to be two things, just because it's going to be really quick. So Andrew, um, I gave you sorry. one thing. <laughs> Luke had one thing, but it took the time of four things. Not my so fault. I caught us back up. Okay. That's yes. true. All right. So I ordered from Justin Peterson. He did a uh, he did his Inktober. Uh, he did his Inktober drawings, and his, his whole his whole series this year was villains. Um, and so uh, I got this guy in the mail today. Oh, cool! Man. Um, so cool. So and good. it came with it's it's printed on this really nice archival. Uh, paper and this really nice archival ink, but it also came with the sketch oh. version of it. So uh, one print is really two, which is really neat. And it turns out one print is really four, right, Luke? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, the other thing that I did, so I got the thing board game, um, the one that that Mondo came out with but that we played and we talked about it last uh, last right. week. Yeah. Um, but I got my own copy of it. There was one copy of it anywhere in any of the game shops in uh, San Antonio, and I had them hold it for me. Um, and so I was able to pick it up. And it comes with these dice. So I don't know <laughs> if you can see. I'm going to try to hold them up for the camera. They're like yeah, they're uh, just blue. They're, they're just like blue. Navy. With they're blue so, yeah, they're solid navy blue with white pips, right? Yep. Yeah. So I I uh, it's the first time I've ever customized a board game because. Like, typically, I just play with whatever. Okay. Every element of this board game is beautiful. It plays magnificently. <clears throat> it's a great, great game. But I felt like one thing was missing. And so um, I went out and got some dice from my local game shop to uh, I'm try to get this camera to see it first, if I can get it to focus. Yeah. Describe Show. the color. Because I go. think Luke it's, put it a good way. It's like a light blue and uh, white with white pips. But yeah, they it are looks icy. like ice. Yeah. Uh, they're like ice. And if you know yeah. what the thing is, like ice makes so much. And they're like translucent. It's kind of hard mm -hmm. to see, but they're translucent. Um, so it, it just it makes a game that was already a 100 on in my books, like 105. Um, I've seen some so, great cust like. So if you get the well, first answer me this. Did you get any figures with your game? Yeah, it, it came with every single figure except for the, the, the Norwegian and the Arnold thing. Or okay. the, the Palmer thing. I've seen some people do some great customizations of those figures, like yeah, painting, painting them, them and filling them in. That's what I asked. That's just some... not. Yeah. That's just not my. I don't. I don't. I don't do that. I'm not talented in that that way. Um, so anyway, that was it. I, I got some games, and I've been playing Luke, a lot of I'll games. I'll send you mine. If you'll customize mine, I'll send them your way. Sure. Cool. I'm not going to send them back. <laughs> also, send the rest of the game with it, just so <laughs> we have something to compare it to. <laughs> All right, that's my round the table. Wait, did you say what your second one was? I said both. Yeah, I said Justin Peterson. And then oh, I, right, that's I, right. That's right. right. Yeah. Andrew right. listens as much as I do. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> invested. Wow. Yes, wow. What we have to figure out is who is the analog or the avatar for the regular three and how the three of you split up into the two of us. Uh, uh, yeah. It's interesting. an interesting match. I mean, it's yeah. three points. To be fair, I have no idea what you just said, so I trust it. Andrew, you okay. need to throw it to somebody. He's just Andrew saying, Sale, you yeah, need to throw our it to DNA, somebody. which of our DNA combination created Jared, uh, and which combination created Colt? Uh, oh, yeah, I, see, I see, I see, I see. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say it's you. I'm going to say it's... I'm going to say it's Luke and I for Kolb, and Patrick and Luke for Jared. I mean, mm. or if you really? want, if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment and put it into the comments uh, oh, or write a review and tell us uh, who you the think The only it problem is. with it is, though, people don't can't see you guys. 
They're only seeing us mm. and hearing us. That's fine. Us. It's just emotional. I want you to tell us the emotional. Oh. Mm. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so sorry, beginning. Jared. Do you want to continue on the around the table or the, the spin around? Oh, gee. Uh, I didn't know we were going to do that. Uh, sure. Uh, I picked up the... Um, the uh, Disney Afternoon Funko Mini yes. oh, yeah. Blind Box oh, great. figures. Yes, you so did. I got that at Hot Topic. Those are super cute. Um, they're, um, I bought a case, but a case is only 12, mm. and there's more than 12 figures in the thing. I got all the Hot Topic exclusives. I got doubles on some of those, but oh. not all the of the characters. So there was a Darkwing Duck color variant, uh, oh, and yeah. they had... One of the DuckTales characters, one of the female DuckTales villains or the something. Ma- I, the, the Medusa-looking character? I can't remember which one it was. And then uh, the the Scrooge McDuck in the pile of uh, gold. Oh, cool. So, so I got those three, and so I was happy with what I got. But uh, it could be, it seems like it could be potentially very frustrating if you're trying to get the whole yeah. lot. And each location has three exclusives or something so yeah i got a GameStop exclusive i was looking for darkwing duck i want darkwing duck that's Mm -hmm. he's my jam and i ended up getting one of the nephews with like the camping hat oh yeah 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 which is the game which was one of the GameStop exclusives right And, and sorry to confirm the case doesn't have 12 unique figures necessarily Right. And it okay. doesn't. Most cases, when you buy the case, you get a whole set. Right. right. That's kind of why you buy the oh, case. Okay. But it's this really small display. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. how. I guess there's no guarantee. I feel like this, that's a little street. bit. So I'm going to get back on a soapbox real quick and say Go that's a little it. bit of a problem I have with the mentality of Funko. Like the blind box well, specifically. Just, no, not just Funko, because most blind, bo- blind box companies, like whether it's Loyal Subjects or Kid Robot or... Um, oh, what's or, the other one? Oil subjects. <laughs> or kid uh, robot. We don't like them. No, just anyway, say kid robot. it's fine. Just whatever. <laughs> but most of them do that. If you buy a right. case, you're getting everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't like that Funko's done that. They've that's kind not, of. That's not that, always true. That's not. That's not always most true. Most of the really time, true. most if 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 you're not getting if everything, the case is 24 and a chase is a one in 48. Exactly. Or, or so, they even have they even have non chases that are still just. Yeah, you you might Remember, not get I the didn't... chase. Generally, you'll get everything, and there's a chance mm-hmm. to get everything. I guess that's the difference. Is there's a chance to get everything with only having 12? If there's a larger than 12 set, you're never going to get everything by buying a case. And I think that's a little mm-hmm. shady. Because I think the last time we went on a case together, w- there were two figures we ended up not getting in our right. case. And the same thing well, with yeah, Andrew I, I and I with about the that, though. turtles. I thought about that because I was gonna yeaz- I was gonna say that as my argument, but then I remembered. We split the case. Right. So you got one of them and I got one of them. Yep. But you did we didn't get two. We right. didn't get a splinter. That's and not what I mean. I'm saying that if you're okay, you're talking about something different. Because you're talking about the turtles when you bought those. Yeah. But I was talking about when we went the in Azteca. together on the Aztec series, uh-huh. and I'm saying mm-hmm. that for the entire box. We were still missing, I think, two figures. Gotcha. So hmm. I'm just saying, I, I don't. You're not guaranteed a full set. It's you're more not, likely. I, I, I do like what Luke is saying, though. Like in terms of numbers, like the, the gamble is less in that you have more of a chance to get everything. If there's twelve only in a box and there are sixteen figures, right. you know there. Even if you get twelve completely independent, independently different figures, you're not going to get the whole set. Right. Now to do. Right. So you'd have blind to get two boxes cases to and then location specific blind boxes. Yeah. That just seems like a big, just absolute pain. But right, it, it does in, make it real. It, it sounds like what you would do is have a case be complete for each location. So you get everything except for what you're not going to get at that store. Exactly. So if right. you go to Hot Topic, you get everything in that case except for the GameStop exclusives. Right. And then if right. you go to GameStop, they basically just swap out the uh, the Hot Topic ones for GameStop and then that way you kind of know what you're getting into or like yeah. what you're gonna what you're gonna get. Yep. Now that, the, that the nice like, thing uh, about it is though the the exclusives are they do run at a one and twelve so you are going to get right. all of the They're more likely. you are going to get all right, the exclusives right, okay. if you buy a whole case you're just not going to necessarily get every one of the of general the, the regular yeah the general yeah. the general right ones. right okay that's right. probably the that's okay that is probably a good clarification because what I said wasn't totally true either when you do buy a case like for someone from Kid Robot. At least the way I understand the way the numbers work, there's like 
potentially 85, 90 percent of the figures you are definitely going right. to get. Right. Mm-hmm. It's just a top percentage that one or two could be swapped because they're only putting in one for every three cases or something exactly. like that. So, right. Right. so like with my Kingdom of Cute series, they did you got two of each in the case, mm-hmm. but you didn't get uh, all the variants. Right. So, you know, like right. there's some color variants. So like that seems fair. Yeah, enough, that, right? that, at least fair. you know you know you're going to get a you know you're going to get a uh uh something. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. Just like, see, that's <laughs> you know, like a mint you know, maybe. Yeah. You know you're going to you know you're going to get a dull whip, but you don't necessarily know you're going to get the swirl and you don't necessarily know you're going right. to get the citrus. Yeah. So they guarantee you some frustration, just not max frustration. <laughs> and typically the extra figures you get are enough Mm -hmm. You could like sell them and then just go buy the one figure you need or something like that. But I I think it, it, to me, and so mentally, the part I'm not saying, because I'll say now, I think it goes back to Funko not really understanding or or fighting for their audience as much as Mm. just fighting to make money. Well, they're doing that. They're doing a good job. I know. They're in the space and they're definitely a name in the space now, right? So I'm not going to say they're new anymore, but they they don't understand the collector yet. I still don't think they get it. Because they're right, making they're it harder. they're still gearing towards someone like, admittedly, me, who did not realize that that's how a case was normally packaged. Exactly. So I just assumed it could be 13 Darkwing Ducks in a case of 24. Right. If you thing, get right? 13 Darkwing Ducks, uh, I want one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will ship you 12 of them. <laughs> to anybody with multiple Darkwing Ducks who's watching, I want one of them. I'll pay you for it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Jared, uh, anything else to add to nope. that? I will throw Great. it back to you, Mr. Cole. Okay, and I will finish it off to say I finally caught up at, to the rest of the world and I've seen Thor Yay! Ragnarok. Yay! Yes, did. Did it. Get out of here, ghost. Piss <laughs> <laughs> uh, off, so, ghost. <laughs> He's gone now. So I, I admit when I was watching it, I was not, not necessarily confused, but I think I'd gone in expecting kind of like Kung Fury level oh, 80s wow. camp. Okay. So mm, okay. maybe not that extreme, like sure. obviously with a, with a layer of Marvel and Disney behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think I had, I had seen that one kind of frame or small snippet of video of like Loki and Thor with the big Laser uh, guns. guns just yeah. like shooting and thought that was kind of going to be the vibe of the entire film. Mm. Um, um, which in hindsight, I think it was, but maybe just not with the aesthetics that I was sure. expecting. Um, so yeah, I, I was happy with it. I, like, I think like you three had kind of warned me last time we had chatted, uh, laughed con- like a, mm-hmm. a great comedy, yeah. solid action. Um, I, I really like, um, uh, not Banner. That's his character. Um, but Mark I really Ruffalo. liked, yes, Mark Ruffalo's, uh, take on the character. Yeah. And I think the more we get of him, even as kind of a like the buddy in the duo, mm-hmm. is is great. Yeah. Um, so the beginning bit was a bit silly, like the kind of it, initial. But that's what joke. I wanted in the whole movie <laughs> was that to carry. Across. I love I love the silliness of that. Like I think yeah. you had you're the only person, Patrick, who I think took any issue with it. I think everyone else loved it from what I talked about. I, like I actually was worried based on the beginning bit. I was thinking oh, I don't know that I'm going to get into this the way other people are. But that wasn't necessarily the style of the humor for the rest of the film. Fair. It wasn't, but, I, but, it, but, but I did love, I loved every second mm-hmm. of that. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I, and I think that first scene also set me up for what I was going to, or what I was expecting in that, like, there's a dragon that's not flying with wings, but kind of like just fire propulsion. Mm. Uh, like, I, I assumed the entire movie would look like an airbrushed van. Uh, <laughs> and and it, was, it came close a lot of times. Like, I think there's that one shot with the fireworks, like, yeah. stuff like that, uh, that I think just teetered on that edge. Mm. So I'm hoping that if uh, the director comes back, if YTT comes back, that uh, he's given the opportunity to kind of push it even further because mm. I think obviously this is I, I don't think it would be hard to argue with the best Thor in the uh, Pantheon so far sure. so m- yeah. hopefully in we get more. Stark I just want contrast more. contrast to the Justice League which was a trash fire. 100 oh. million dollar <laughs> loser potentially. Ooh, I mean we can dig into what that you later. Mean is gonna <laughs> lose 100 million dollars is that what you're saying? Yeah. Potentially they're going to lose 100 million dollars on the film. Mm. Hmm. Oh, that's, I mean... We'll dig into that next week, but yeah. That's <laughs> great. Yeah. Uh, that, it so yeah, all I, went to Ben Affleck's hair product. <laughs> and removing Superman's and mustache. mustache. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. weird. Um, okay, before we get further into it, I think let's uh, wrap that up there. Um, so up next, uh, Sandbox interviews. Sandbox interviews. 